welcome back to my channel e study today we will learn crucial algorithm for finding minimum spanning tree if you have knowledge on minimum spanning tree you are fine however if you don't know the minimum spanning tree you should watch my video that is made on minimum spanning tree so let's move on in this example here a telephone company wants to connect several houses from its central office so the naive approach or the primary approach is to connect these houses through an individual line so this approach is expensive because it needs more wires thus it increases the total cost however if we can correct the houses like in this pattern here so we can minimize the length of wire and also minimizes the total cost and this approach is similar to the minimum sparing tree approach so the question is how we can calculate or find the minimum spanning tree there are basically two algorithms for finding the minimum spanning tree one is prims and another one is kushkal i made a video on prims algorithm before so you can watch it from my channel and today we are discussing on kushkal algorithm here is an example Calculate the minimum spanning tree of the following graphs. So we need to find the minimum spanning tree of this graph using the Kruskal algorithm. That's why we need to understand the Kruskal algorithm first. In the first step, find the smallest edge in the graph network and select it if it does not form any cycle. And continue this fashion until all the vertices are covered. So in a simple sentence, we need to find the smallest edge in this graph and select it if it does not make any cycle. So the smallest edge in this graph, this one and this one. We are fine because both the edges do not make any cycle. The next smallest edges are this this one and this one and we are fine because it does not make any cycle the next smallest one is three however we cannot take it because it make a cycle here the next smallest edge is four we cannot take it because it makes a cycle here but we can take this one because it does not make any cycle here the next smallest edge is five but we cannot take this edge because it creates a cycle here the next smallest edge is this one we can take this one as it does not make any cycle so we have done it because we covered all the vertices. Now we have to calculate the minimum spanning tree cost, which is 2, 1, 3, 2, 5, 4, 9, 1, 10, and 6, 16. I think you understand the way of finding MST for Kruskal algorithm. Let's move on another real time example. A local state government wants to build the new road networks among different cities. Here are different cities and the local governments want to connect with new road system. The distance in miles between the cities are given in the following graph. Here are the distance between the cities. For example, the distance between city C and city B is 80 miles. Now calculate the minimum spanning tree or the minimum lengths of road to connect all the cities using Kruskal algorithm. So the task is to find the minimum spanning tree cost 
support the minimum lengths of road required to connect connect all the cities and we have to use the Kushkal algorithm so in Kushkal algorithm first step we have to select the smallest edge that does not make any cycle so the smallest edge in this graph is this one which is 60 the next smallest edge this one this one and this one we are fine because the edges do not create any cycle the next smallest edge in this graphs this 80 and it does not create any cycle this 80 and it does not create any cycle however if we take this one it will create a cycle here so we cannot take this one and if we take this one it will create a cycle here so we cannot take this one also and if you look at the graph we can see that we have covered all the vertices so we have done it hence the minimum length of roads required to connect all the cities is 80 plus 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 60 plus 80 total 430 miles i think you have understand the minimum sparing tree using Kruskal algorithm so let's move on another real real time example and pause this video and try to solve this real life example by your own and leave your answer in the comment box i will reply right away still if you have any question please leave your question in the comment box i will try my best to answer all of your queries thank you very much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe my channel